my father, Oliver Sholem, was a keen Zionist. In fact, he got into serious trouble with my mother when at the wedding reception, which was a few days after the founding of the State of Israel, he managed to toast the State of Israel and somehow forgot to mention my mother. But my father, Oliver Sholem, and so many Jews found it difficult to believe in the coming of the Moshiach. I said to him once, Daddy, you were born in 1910. You saw the worst horror unleashed on the Jewish people in history. And four years after the end of that nightmare, the Jewish people had a sovereign state for the first time in over a thousand years. If I'd been around in 1930 and told you that all that was about to take place, you'd have laughed at me. So is the coming of Mashiach that much more outlandish? Imagine... You've never seen water boil. Imagine you lived in a world where there just was no means to heat something hotter than around 200 Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. You'd imagine that water just got hotter and hotter and hotter. The idea that a cataclysmic change in the nature of the water, turning it into vapor, would seem absurd, fanciful in the extreme. It's difficult for us to imagine cataclysmic change. Today was like yesterday, and yesterday was like the day before that, but things do change, and sometimes cataclysmically. There's no realistic day-after scenario for the war in Gaza. It's clear that Hamas will not settle for a state unless it's from the river to the sea. And on the other hand, Israel isn't about to meekly accept a set of water wings supplied, no doubt, by the UN, and happily paddle out into the med with Tel Aviv fading into the distance. This is an existential war without a solution. It's not a question of how to divide up the cake, you know, where do we draw the line on the map? You get this bit, I'll swap you this bit. This is a war of ideals, a titanic clash of cultures that will not and cannot end in a stable compromise. As a believing Jew, it's clear to me that the only solution to this situation is Mashiach, the Messiah for whom we daily hope, wait and pray. Now, I'm sure people would think that that too is a bit of a pipe dream because nothing in our experience has ever resembled Mashiach, Messiah. God promised the Jewish people he would bring us a Messiah. And just as he promised us that he'd preserve us throughout our long years of exile and torment, and he's done that against all the laws of history, so I believe he will bring his Redeemer to Zion. I'm looking forward to seeing water boiled.